The original inspiration for the project came from some Russian futurists, so sort of work that was done after the Russian Revolution when it was a very open time for experimenting with new technologies and a lot of composers were starting to find ways to use graphic interfaces, light interfaces to generate new forms of sound, so we were sort of interested in finding a new way of exploring that using more contemporary digital technologies. The current project we're working on is developing a series of noise machines. And noise machines are synthesizer modules, so electronic musical instruments, such as drones and delays and sequences, and they have light sensors on them. Um, and that means that there's potential for artistic collaboration between musicians and light artists and filmmakers. And we want to explore how we can aid collaboration and performance with gesture and light. So the noise machines are electronic musical instruments and they're based on synthesizer circuitry and we're looking at using a light interface to work with analogue synthesizers. Um, so the machines themselves have synthesizer circuitry inside and we use these light sensors on the outside as the interface for musicians and artists to play. We've got um, three or four different oscillators inside this machine. Um, and those are switchable in and out of these switches here. And each oscillator has tied to it a volume top, and uh, so you can hear a sweep. So most exciting for us, a light interface, so that's a light dependent resistor with these little guys here. So what happens with those when we shine light onto them is that they change the flow of electricity in the circuit. And that results in a change in the audio. circuitry is based on analog synthesizers um, but we're working with a new interface that uses light and um, gesture to play sound and we want to see if artists can use these light sensors um, to manipulate the sounds of the noise machines themselves. So by playing with light you can control the pitch of a note, you can create beats out of light as well um, and play around with the rhythm and timing and we want to see if working with light and gesture and electronic instruments mean that people can perform in different ways and collaborate with different types of artists. We're interested in how artists can use these instruments to translate light into sound and we're looking at the different types of ways that light can play the instruments. How you can manipulate sound waves with light and how you can control pitch, uh, create beats and control different frequencies and to shape the waves through light. In this studio space, it's where we're doing the day-to-day -day development on the noise machine. So it's exploring new designs of circuitry, uh, breadboarding them out um, as, proto as prototypes, and soldering and building up more stable versions um, that we can then take out and begin to test using our own sort of light installation setups, and then also passing them on to other artists, so other artists can begin to see how they could use those tools in their own work as well. So on the Innovate UK project we've been working for six months on a research and development project with other technicians and we've been exploring different ways to create circuits and looking at what the light can control in the circuits. Mm -hmm. So at the start of the project the, the light input was pretty much controlling the frequency or the pitch of the note and but now we've, we've developed the circuitry to such a level where it can control the rhythm. We've developed delay units so there's like delay time that's controllable through light. And also we've sort of worked with um, solar input, so we're able to change the control voltage within circuits. So you can get really precise sort of pitch control using 
bit sort of solar inputs to voltage. So one of the areas we were looking at was we've been to a lot of electronic music performances and we kind of, for some of them, we come away a bit uninspired. So there's kind of a critique of electronic music performance that it's quite insular, maybe laptop based, and there isn't much gesture happening or collaboration or perhaps audience interaction with the, the interface. So we wanted to explore how we could make a creative interface for, for mm. music that would encourage the audience to get involved, mm -hmm. that could use light and gesture in a new way. And we've been looking at certain kind of synth modules such as drum units and also creating um, chaos and chants as well within the noise machines. So a really nice element of the, the project has sort of been working with our focus group so that's we've sort of met regularly with sort of between it's about sort of a dozen people who have come regularly to work with us and to look at the machines we've been developing and just giving us really good honest mm. feedback on like what's working what isn't working what they'd like really like to see in the machines yeah. and then we've taken that and gone away and started to work that into like the next sort of iteration of the circuitry it's been a really nice process mm. having that and some of those people are performing at the, at the demo that ends the project as well. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really important for us that we're developing machines that people will actually play. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to make them as versatile as possible. Yes, yes. And that they can fit in with other people's studio setup or live performance mm -hmm. setup. So, for example, it's really important that field recorders can plug in there live sound. Yeah. It's important that you can have MIDI out so people can play with Ableton or Logic. So we're trying to be as playable as possible and as compatible with other people yeah. and trying to really open the playing field for how you could work with a light and sound instrument. So we've been working in the studio to develop a series of circuits that have light sensors on and we're really um, interested in working with other types of artists from different artistic disciplines such as dancers, electronic musicians, people that play modular synths and we want to give these, these noise machines over to other artists to explore yeah. how they might be creative with them. So we're working on a live, live demo at Texture in Manchester and we are looking to see how other artists can perform and make music with these instruments. Mm. Um, and some of the ways that people have been working with them is through live sampling, MIDI interfacing with Ableton, uh, performing with modular synth, yeah. using different digital and analog processes, looking at live visuals, all sorts of things. And it's been really exciting to kind of hand these over, these kind of these machines that we've made to other people to see how they can be created. It's totally open now what's possible mm. seeing how other people are sort of using them as interfaces or triggers or creating really interesting sort of feedback loops and stuff from them. So that's been like a really sort of rich part of the project. And it's really important that we test the machines out in a live performance context with interdisciplinary artists. Um, because we're interested in the future to make these as new performance tools for artistic collaboration. One of the things we're interested in with the demo is to sort of really look at how you can make like a, a, a performance piece that involves different lighting systems, we're working with a dancer, as well as sort of performing the music side of it and the lighting side of it ourselves, so sort of looking at how you can make like a total sort of piece that will develop further on into the future. And the other side of it is, is sort of continuing to develop like these machines to explore making limited edition artist runs of um, the, the circuits that we've been developing that people would actually be able to, to, to buy from us at a certain point in the future. Yeah, we've been really infused by the response that we've had mm. from, the, from the community, um, both online and just locally in Manchester. People really want to get their hands on the machines mm. and make their own kits and we've had yeah. various studio visits from people getting in touch on social media wanting to be able to build their own oscillators and musical instruments. So. That for us has kind of been a real inspiration yeah, to work really with cool. other people and open yeah. it out. Yeah.